in the face of attempted coups, I issued emergency proclamations just in case. But I was able to resolve this military crisis with the ordinary powers of my office. My critics call it dictatorship. I call it determination. We know it a strong government, but I never declared martial law. Though they are running scared as if I did. In truth, what they are really afraid of is their weakness in the face of this self-imagined threat. I say to them, do not tell us what we all know, that democracy can be threatened. Tell us what you will do when it is attacked. I know what to do. As I have shown, I will defend democracy with arms when it is threatened by violence, with firmness when it is weakened by division with law and order when it is subverted by anarchy. And always, I will try to sustain it by wise policies of economic progress so that a democracy means not just an empty liberty, but a full life for all. I have never expressed a desire to extend myself beyond my term. Many of those who accuse me of it try to cling like nails to their posts. I am accused of misgovernance. Many of those who accuse me of it left me the problem of their misgovernance to solve. And we did it. I am falsely accused without proof of using my position for personal profit. Many who accuse me have lifestyles and spending habits that make them walking proofs of that crime. We can read their frustrations. They had to serve this good country, they had the chance to serve this good country, and they blew it by serving themselves. Those who live in glass houses should cast no stones. Those who should be in jail should not threaten it, especially if they have been there. Our administration with the highest average rate of growth, recording multiple increases in investments, with the largest job creation in history, and which gets a credit upgrade at the height of a world recession, must be doing something right. Even if some of those cocooned in corporate privilege refuse to recognize it.
Governance, however, is not about looking back and getting even. It is about looking forward and giving more to the people who gave us the greatest, hardest gift of all, the care of a country. From Bonifacio at Balintawak, to Cory Aquino at EDSA, and up to today, we have struggled to bring power to the people and this country to the eminence it deserves. Today, the Philippines is weathering well the storm that is raging around the world. It is growing stronger with a challenge. When the weather clears as it will, there is no telling how much farther forward it can go. Believe in it, I believe. We can and we must march forward with hope, optimism, and determination. We must come together, work together, and walk together toward the future. Bagamat malaking hamon ang nasa ating harapan, nasa kamay natin ang malaking kakayahan. Halina't pagtulungan nating tiyakin ang karapat-dapat na kinabukasan ng ating inang bayan. And to the people of our good country for allowing me to serve as your president, maraming salamat. of the Senate, the joint session is adjourned. On the part of the House of Representatives, this joint session is hereby adjourned. Okay, po ang kabuuan ng naging sona ni Pangulong Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, ang kanyang valedictory address dahil ito po ang kanyang huling sona sa kanyang panunungkulan bilang Pangulo ng Pilipinas. At uh, sa kanya pong uh, sinabi, hindi ho maisi, mamadali ang nadaan na kanya pong tinahak. At uh, kasama natin yun si Professor Alex Magno yeah. para talakayin pa rin na ang naging sona ng Pangulo. Yeah. Angelic, napakinggan natin ang uh, palagay ko pinakamahaba sa siyam na sona. 
at uh, also the best uploaded. That's right. 126 applauses po at uh, ito ay tumagal ng uh, halos mga 54 minutos. At uh, isa sa mga sinabi ng pangulo ay hindi pa tapos ang uh, trabaho. Ano baga oh. tapos na yung kanyang talumpati, yung kanyang sona? Tuloy-tuloy pa rin dapat ang pagtatrabaho ng lahat. Oh, may isang taon pa siyang uh, nakadistino sa kanyang trabaho. No? Mm -hmm. At, uh, napakarami pang dapat gawin sa loob ng the next 11, 11 months or so. That's right. At, uh...